And now, Thorpe Jungle with David Attenborough. And here we see the Nemesis Inferno. He is bold. He's strong. He's a good looking inverted coaster. And that was Thorpe Jungle with David Attenborough. And now, back to Coaster Chow for another update. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongster Born, but built for theme park news, and welcome to a theme park predictions video. Now today, we're going to be predicting Thought Park stuff. So Thought Park fans, you've got a video. Uh, <laughs> um, now this video is all about predicting the future of the rising attractions in the jungle themed area. Now we're going to be talking Rumba Rapids, Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride, Nemesis Inferno, and also, don't forget, don't forget, the former I'm a Celebrity building currently used for Jungle Escape. So, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media, and make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, Let's get into talking about the rides and attractions themselves. So, starting off with the flat rides slash family rides. So, starting off with, of course, Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride. Now, Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride is the final sort of attraction, a part of the original Ranger County. Now, of course, Ranger County obviously used to be the old uh, sort of adventure kids family area. It had like Miss, Miss Hippo's Fungal Safari, Jungle Safari, whatever it's called. Uh, that's like an antique car ride that closed obviously around 2007 uh, when the cuts and the uh, operations and the maintenance started getting, you know, bigger and bigger and they couldn't operate it anymore. Uh, of course, we used to have Chief Ranger Carousel and the old arena that used to be home to the Spider Man show. Those were closed together for Darren Brown's Ghost Train, and everyone has their opinions on that. Uh, and of course, Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride. Now, of course, this was manufactured by Metal Bow Emlyn, and that's how it's pronounced. Uh, opened back in 1994, so same year as Nemesis. And um, this is a small banana themed swinging pirate ship ride with a height limit of 0.9 meters for those of you who are new to the channel and need specifics. Uh, now, of course, as well as Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride, we have Rumba Rapids. Now, this was an Interman River Rafting ride that opened in 1987, and it has a rough history. Now, this opened as Thunder River, and then it was sponsored from Ribena from 2002 until 2006, but the sponsorship was removed in 2007. So, all the way from 02 to 06, and then obviously removed in 07, it was the Ribena Rumba Rapids. And then, of course, it was changed from 2007 onwards into Rumba Rapids. Now, people have been calling for a refurbishment of this for a few years now. Um, I, 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 I'm, I, I look at it, and it's a good-looking water ride, but I think it needs some kind of new facelift. Uh, now, of course, Jungle Escape. Now, this was a, well, this is an escape room type attraction uh, located in the former I'm a Celebrity Maze site. Now, I'm a Celebrity was a maze attraction, a walkthrough maze attraction, uh, all season long for most of it before it became a, uh, a specific time attraction over the last few years uh, of its lifespan. Opened back in 2015. Now, of course, before that, the building was used for Fright Nights mazes such as the Asylum and Studio 13. Studio 13, uh, uh, those are the most recent mazes, of course. Um, now, I believe this used to also, I, I believe this was the site for the freezer, uh, which was, of course, one of the probably the oldest, um, you know, Fright Nights maze. Um, so, obviously, Fright Nights, of course, that started in 2002, uh, and, and the freezer, the freezer was the um, actual. F um, former site I believe of that uh, <laughs> I believe so anyway um, but yes finally then you've got the Nemesis Inferno now now this was the the final attraction of the uh, the jungle area and it is of course as you all know by now the biggest uh, now of course Nemesis Inferno is a Bulgar and Mabillard inverted roller coaster opened back on the 5th uh, of April 2003, it was the former home of Mr. Rabbit's Tropical Travels, uh, used to be known as the Old Mill as well. 
Um, now this, or the mill, should we say. Um, now this used to be a, like a slow moving water ride. Look at um, In the Night Guard Magical Boat Ride at Alton Tower CBB Land. Of course, that used to be known as Riverbank Ice Spy. So it's like a slow moving boat ride. Uh, of course, the Thought Pipe Fire removed the indoor section of that ride. And of course, for the last year or two, it was operating without an indoor section. And of course, as you know, that ride was removed. And of course, in came Nemesis Inferno the year after Colossus. Now, this coaster has a length of 2,460.7 feet, a height of 95.2 feet, a speed of 47.8 miles per hour, with four inversions, a duration of 1 minute 43, and a G force of 4.5. And it includes a loop, a zero G roll, and interlocking corkscrews and it's themed around a volcano with a drop entering the crater or caldera now nemesis inferno i would say is the attraction that is least in trouble in terms of any new ride or attraction developments for the jungle area now in terms of attractions that are in trouble we're going to get onto them in a little bit however i just want to sort of sum up the rise and attractions then so we talked a little bit about each one. Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride is obviously the family attraction. It's the big old family kids ride. Uh, I'm sure that will either get moved to a new area or it will get removed sometime in the long term future. I don't think it's going to be removed in the near future because it is one of the big family rides. And of course, you know, we all know by now that Thought Park are going to try and move into a more uh, resort side of things uh, with the family rides, the kids rides, the family walkthrough attractions, the events, of course, making it more a resort uh, rather than just a thrill park. Uh, which, some, you know, obviously people are going to be mad that we're not getting a new coaster for a good couple of years yet. However, I think it's a good move for Thought Park. But, and I'm not just, you know, I'm not just not agreeing with the coaster fans. I do want to see a brand new coaster at Thought Park. However, I like that they're doing these kind of events because uh, it makes them look more like a, a fully fledged themed park uh, rather than a thrill park. Uh, and I think that they are catering towards more audiences. Obviously, Chessington and Le Legoland further down the road, obviously, are more family parks. So, I am a little bit wary that they are going further down a family market when you've got Chessington and Legoland that caters towards the family market. Uh, however, I like that Thor Park is still catering for their families. Uh, and I like that the jungle area has a mixture of stuff for everyone. It has stuff for families and thrill seekers. But, let's get into, then, the sort of predictions shall we say for these attractions so let's start off with mr monkey's banana right now that site alone is you know not the biggest plot of land so i wouldn't see a lot of massive development on that site uh, so i think that mr monkey's banana ride sites just as that site is here to stay now it's inferno again a very easy decision here to stay this is where it gets very, very interesting. Now, Jungle Escape, first of all. Jungle Escape. Now, that building, I think, is up for debate. Now, obviously, Darren Brown's Ghost Train, I don't know. I really don't know. I think that attraction has just passed its peak. It's just... I'm, I like Darren Brown's Ghost Train. It's not the best dark ride in the world, but it isn't the worst. It's not the worst, but it's not the, the world class. But it's an alright dark ride. It's good for what it did. However, I, I just don't think Darren Brown's Ghost Train has a long-term future. Like Nemesis of Terror, I really like the look of Nemesis of Terror. It's a brilliant dark ride, in my opinion. But... I can kind of see in the direction that it was going in why it closed and it wasn't going to come back. Obviously the TLC program at Alton Towers is different to Thought Park with closing their rides uh, because of course Alton Towers went through the Smiler incident and they had to close rides to save money and Nemesis of Terror unfortunately had to bite the dust, uh, which is fair enough. Uh, but I think the Subterra, uh, if, if I had to choose between Subterra or closing Darren Brown's Ghost Train, either one. I would rather reopen Subterra, obviously refurbished, refreshed, looking new, looking great with a new ride system. But I would rather open Subterra than keep Ghost Train open because it has had problems over the years with the VR, with the effects, not everything's working all the time. And a lot, I know a lot of people have had mixed reactions to this. They've tried to improve it the year after it opened. It still had mixed reactions. It was better, but it was still mixed reactions. So I don't think the Ghost Train has a long-term future at the park. Uh, kind of like Alton Towers Dungeon. It's great, but it doesn't have a long-term future. Same story here with the Ghost Train. So 
on Jungle Escape site alone, I'll get onto Ghost Train site in a little bit, but Jungle Escape as a site alone, I would like to see the queue line uh, enclosed, and I'd like to see that queue line removed and that part of it enclosed, and maybe stretch it along past that queue line, uh, so I have like more room to extend the building, maybe, maybe tear the whole building down and build a brand new building. Um, and I would like to see a family dart ride. A jungle themed family dart ride. No VR, no 4D, no shooting dart ride. A shooting dart ride wouldn't be bad, because the part doesn't have that. However, I don't want to see 4D, because you've already got the Angry Birds 4D experience. I don't want to see VR, because it just doesn't work. I don't want to see... I, I would like to see a shooting dart ride, not going to lie. Maybe like a family one. Look at Toy Story Midway Mania. Let's look at that for an instance. They're a fun family shooting dart ride. If they're going to do a shooting dart ride, I'd like to see one that is very, very... Um, it's working 100% all the time. It's properly maintained. Uh, it's very fun. Maybe make... Don't give it an IP. Don't go and give it a Donkey Kong IP or something like that. Give it an original theme. Even keep the name. Just keep the name Jungle Escape and utilise it in a more family way. And have this shooting dart ride system where you're shooting bananas at a basket. I don't know. Something like that. Something jungly. Something fun. Jungly is your word of the day, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but something fun if they're going to go down the shooting dart ride route. If not... I would like to see one of Garmendale's Dark Ride ride system. Look at Gangster Grind of the Ride. Look at how good that looks from the pictures that we saw uh, about a month ago now. About a month or two ago now. Look at the pictures of that and look how good that looks and how good it's going to look and how great it's going to look with the people that were involved. I'd like to see a family Dark Ride with a jungle story. Original. No IPs. Original. And I'd like to see a family dart ride in that Jungle Escape site and even build a brand new building on that site so you can stretch it even more than it already does. Now, let's have a look at what you do when you combine Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride site, the Jungle Escape site, and Darren Brown's Ghost Train site. And you can even stretch it further down to the blank space as well. Now, you're going to probably think I'm nuts. But I think it's a good space for a coaster. Now, I know what you were all thinking. Oh, you're going to go down the RMC Raptor route. Or you're going to go down the multi-launch route. You know what? I am going to do that. But I'm going to do it very differently. So, RMC Raptor. I think that Thor Park is one of, arguably one of the biggest parks in the country. Arguably the biggest park in the country. And a Raptor wouldn't work because of the capacity issues. So I think I would rule the Raptor out straight away. If it was two or three trains and it, was, it wasn't it was one person per car on each train. And it was two people, maybe they do uh, four people per car per train. Uh, and they do it as two rows front and back. Obviously with the COVID-19 measures you'd probably do one person on each of the two rows. So maybe you made the, car, the Raptor cars bigger so they can hold four people per car maximum. Uh... That would, that would solve the capacity issue. However, I think that a Raptor maybe wouldn't be the best fit. However, something like Fury at Bobby on land, something like a Gerslar, or maybe Intamin do their type of version. So maybe something like Fury at Bobby on land, but it's built by Intamin instead. Maybe include the Taran trains. It's it kind of like an Intamin extended Skyrocket coaster. Kind of like that, but made by Intamin. But kind of like that kind of style. And you can you can imagine it. You could start it off in the Darren Brown's Ghost Train site. You have the, the half spike. It, it could launch back through the station. It could do a nice zero G roll into uh, where... Uh, or, or a nice corkscrew element. Or just turn around into a zero G roll element where Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride is. Turn round before you get towards Nemesis Inferno. Do the stuff in the Jungle Escape site. Maybe replace that canopy area. Maybe even replace the Slammer site if they get the chance to remove it now. Um, and utilize that whole blank canvas. It's like having a. It's like with being an artist. Use that blank canvas to your advantage, and I would use it to my advantage. I would do an Intamin extended, com shuttle compact shuttle multi-launch coaster. And I would have that half spike element. I would 
have it full circuit so immediately it would go over the so somewhere it would work its way back round over the station so maybe if it extended to where the canopy area where the old sticky sisters uh, restaurant area is uh, where slammer site is and work its way back to the station maybe like a little pop of airtime hill and then sort of twist it round into that half spike again full circuit brilliant uh, but I think something like that would be the perfect coaster edition. It would be a multi-launch. It would it would fill the gap of a multi-launch. It would be made by Intamin, and an Intamin multi-launch is something the fans have always wanted at Thought Park. Obviously, uh, an Intamin multi-launch. Obviously, the the utilization of more than two launches as well. Maybe if it's three launches or even four launches, depending how they work the the layout of the coaster. I think you've got a pretty good coaster and I think it wouldn't be too, it doesn't have to be this massive site for a new coaster, it could be brilliant, it could be just a simple, compact, multi-launch shuttle coaster by Intamin, working its way with the jungle, give it a good theme, maybe like a Kong theme, nothing IP, again, original, so something original to do with Kong or something to do with like a lost, a lost temple in the jungle or a spirit of the jungle rising from the dead, something like that. And I think Thought Park will be onto a winner with that coaster. It's a site that some people have probably, you know, looked at and think, oh, a, a good coaster would be good there. But I personally would say that a compact multi-launch shuttle Intamin would work very, very well on that site. And it would save the, the island behind Swarm and it would save the... Um, maybe the source site maybe for future investment or the loggers leap site for future investment so I think the usual sites for the next coaster at thought like the swarm island the loggers leap site you know those would be saved in a way and I'd like to see this c compact multi-launch shuttle by Intamin you know around jungle escape maybe Mr. Monkey's banana ride doesn't get removed and dismantled and destroyed but maybe move it to a different area for the first time since 1994 give it a brand new theme maybe move it to old town so old town becomes like a family area reopen loggers leap again uh, may, or maybe just replace the whole ride system with a brand new log flume system or a water coaster system uh, and rebuild old town as like a western family area with a water coaster and of course the maze as well so maybe rework loggers leap station and queue line uh, around creek freak massacre uh, and have the maze as well as like the dark side of Old Town. Have the family rides with the rethemed Mr. Monkey's Banana ride in there. The two kids rides Rocky Express. And I think you could work, and I think that would solve a lot of problems with that one coaster edition in the jungle area. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. Obviously, it's just predictions. It's not finale predictions or final, you know, ideas or final announcements or anything like that. But it's just a few things to throw out there. I think Jungle Escape could be a good world-class family dart ride, shooting or non-shooting. So either a Garmendale or something like Midway Mania would work very, very well in there. Or maybe Garmendale invents a shooting dart ride system or uses their shooting dart ride system. Either way, Garmendale will work very, very well with Thought Park. Uh, bringing Aroma Prime scents. They do some very good scents uh, for these attractions. Um, and obviously, if they don't do that and they want to remove the building, potentially... I'd love to see like a compact multi-launch shuttle Intamin coaster work very, very well. Like the extended Skyrocket, but an Intamin version uh, with an inversion or two. So it would work out because it would bring them a new coaster, which is what fans have been crying out for. It would solve an Intamin multi-launch problem, which is, I know many fans want an Intamin multi-launch, so it would tick that box as well as a new coaster for Thought Park Anyways box. It would be a new investment for the jungle area. Obviously, we've had Darren Brown's Ghost Train. And, of course, you know, you could build a brand new dark ride somewhere else if you don't want to build one inside Jungle Escape. Or, you know, if you want to use Darren Brown's Ghost Train site. Maybe Darren Brown's Ghost Train doesn't get used for that site. Maybe the coaster starts where Jungle Escape is uh, and have the half spike coming out of one end and work it round, replace the canopies, replace Slammer, replace the Banana Ride site or maybe not the Banana Ride site and just have a nice... You know, even just one inversion or two if you can fit it in. Compact, multi-launch, shuttle, Intamin coaster. Uh, so there's a couple of attraction ideas in there for you guys to, you know, plough your heads around. Uh, comment down below your thoughts. I really want to know your thoughts as well, guys. But thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park newsroom prediction update from Thought Park Resort. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Kill in the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.